Now, if it's too wet and cold out to train, don't worry about it, because these are my favorite tricks to do indoors if you have a little bit of space. Let's get into it. For our first trick, we're going to be doing a step over crescent. This is just a pop 360 crescent off of one leg. So you're going to start off this trick by standing on that left leg, doing a little jump, landing on your right leg, and then throwing out a crescent. Get used to jumping off that left leg. When you're taking off for this trick, make sure you're already looking behind you. If you're twisting off the ground, then this will make it a lot easier to get that crescent out. You can build this trick up by jumping off that left leg, swinging out that crescent, and landing on your right leg until both legs come together. As you're taking off on that left leg, you want to pump that right knee and twist off the ground. Just like that. Getting more comfortable by swinging that crescent out until both legs land together. Just like that. For our next trick, we have the Backside 900. This trick is great because you could practice your vertical twisting and you don't need too much space. The first thing we're going to practice is jumping up, doing a small 360, landing on that right leg, then doing a switch roundhouse. Remember to keep your head and chest up and spotting your target the whole time. Remember, if you start twisting before you take off the ground, it's only a small 360 before you need to kick. Remember not to open up too early, because you don't want to kill your spin. Really focus on pumping that left knee up, spinning, being patient, and then opening up and doing a switch round. That's it. Quick coffee break, and if you guys are liking the video so far, don't forget to hit that like button for me. Let's get back into it. Here's some style points for you guys. We got the coffee grinder scoot. All this is is just a front sweep with a little leg hop and a scoot. You're going to start off with initiating that front sweep placing that right hand on the ground, followed by the left hand, and just jumping over that leg. If you want, you can practice hopping over that right leg. One more time from the back, placing that left hand down, initiating that front sweep, jumping over that right leg. And when you get up, just do a scoot out of it. So as that right leg sweeps around, you're gonna plant that right arm, jump over that right leg, plant your left arm, and just do a little scoot. And that is it. Up next, we have standing butterfly kick. If you guys want really strong butterfly twist and butterfly twist variations, you wanna get this set up really strong. Now we're doing this from standing, so you wanna generate as much power as you can. So you're starting all the way to the right, you wanna have a big U-dip and kick that back leg up as hard as you can. If you've never done this trick, all it is is just jumping off your left leg and jumping on your right leg. That's, that's it. You're going to use your arms and your chest to dip and make that big U position. And you want to arch your back as you're kicking that back leg up and jumping off that left leg. Really focus on that back arch and that leg drive. One more time, that big U dip, jumping off that left leg, pumping that back leg up as hard as you can and arching your back. Drill this trick a lot and anything that has a B kick will be so easy. Now, for this next trick, just be super careful because I only break this baby out when things are getting serious. I call this the leg swivel. You're going to start this trick off in a kneeling position. Now, whatever knee that's up, it's just going to drop and you're going to be in this S formation. As that right leg swings underneath you, the other leg is going to take that new kneeling position. One more time from the back, you're going to get in that kneeling position, drop that right leg, swing it underneath you while that left leg gets picked up. Remember, this trick is only for when things are getting heated. You definitely don't want to use this in a recreational manner. This trick is just too intimidating and you could potentially lose friends over it. So I'm just warning you guys now. All right, for our last trick, we have Gumby. Another personal favorite of mine, just because it looks so hard to do, but it's really pretty simple. So if you can cartwheel, you're already halfway there. We're going to start this trick on your bad side cartwheel. After that, you're going to do that same bad side cartwheel with your hips facing forward. Once you have that, what you're going to do is you're going to take that left hand and try to reach a little bit over your head, so it's not in a straight line. For the hand placement, your fingers should be facing each other, so your right hand faces the right and your left hand faces the left. Do the same thing. Now that left leg is not going to be touching the ground. This is the position you want to get your hands in when you're trying to go for that gumby. 
remember to offset that first hand so you're reaching over your leg. Now this requires more shoulder flexibility than it does back flexibility because I have a terrible arch. Really focus on just trying to get that left arm behind you. So as that leg swings down, you're reaching over that right hand, left hand gets placed down, and you stand back up. One more time, that right arm goes across the legs, back leg swings, you're reaching all the way over with that left arm, and you're coming up. And that's it. Hope you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll continue to make more videos for you guys. Peace.